Hello, hello, my slimes and squires. Espen here with another commentary. This is gonna be the first commentary of the um, of the new season. I'm gonna be playing Rise mid lane. He was recently, uh, well, not recently, but uh, he's become very, very broken on the uh, on the new patch because of the Rod of Ages and Seraph changes. Um, yeah, he's basically just picked in every game at the moment. He is played a lot in pro play, he's played a lot in solo queue. I think this is the first time, probably ever, that Ryze has had a positive win rate in solo queue, which should tell you how broken he is, because usually Ryze has a negative win rate, he has quite a low win rate in solo queue, but I'm pretty sure at the moment he has a positive win rate, which is just absurd. Usually he's sitting, sitting at around like low 40s, now he's on like 50, which is pretty huge. Uh, he was really strong now because you can build rod of ages into Sarath's and uh you can become very very tanky rise just becomes very tanky that's also why we're running resolve secondary just to be super tanky uh probably gonna be playing rod of ages oh looks like we're dead on the top side we hate to see that just gonna be starting w and gonna look for auto w's on the ari okay, why am i oh, oops there we go sorry i had to change tabs i was dropping a lot of fps just gonna auto the Ari as much as possible. Hmm, my FPS is really bad. It feels very laggy. It's 90 FPS as well. I'm just gonna W the Ari whenever possible. Yeah, this FPS feels pretty unbearable. I might have to give that minion up. I am also recording with Outplayed, so that might be why. Just because I'm recording with two things. I will try to fix it after uh, my next recall. Here on this minion, gonna look to W the Ari. There we go, and now just back off. We wanna take the lane quite slowly, we're just trying to whittle down the Ari. It's her job to kind of shove me in, and it's my job to just kind of slowly whittle her down and get my last hits. Oh, I did not think this was gonna happen, to be honest. Yeah, I guess Twitch support. Love that from him. I guess I should pay attention to the map. I was kind of too busy trying to do everything else. But, I mean, I need to see him again before I can really do anything right. Because if I don't see him, it's kind of dodgy. I feel like he's back mid lane again. Just the way Ari is playing kind of smells like a twitch, doesn't it? But I don't die. Okay, he's back to bot lane. Now we can look to walk up pretty aggressively. I'm gonna just EQ the wave. Oh, I kind of wanted to tag the Ari with that. We can look to walk up a little bit more aggressively while we have our E on the Ari. And now we have to back off again and collect this wave. Collect these minions. Ari is stepping outside of the wave a lot and she did just miss her charm. So we can walk up quite aggro now we can walk into the wave here just hit the Ari and then back off we want to thin the wave ideally make sure Ari can't crash and get a reset that's the uh, that's the dream scenario I don't think we have a lot of tools to really do that right now but maybe she's too slow at crashing this because she didn't hit the minions so now the wave is gonna be stuck for her which is good for me obviously I mean the longer I can keep Ari here the better I just want to recall on my catalyst ideally Maybe I should try to just push the wave a little bit. Try to thin the wave out a little bit. Get some damage in. I mean, she's just walking into the wave, letting me EQ her. Twitch should probably be around mid lane pretty soon, I would have to imagine. Gonna just try to land as many Qs on her as possible. Looks like my sack is gonna look. He's fishing. There we go. Ah, uh, I'm so bad. Am I dead? Oh, I just have to leave. Mm, yeah, that's kind of my bad. I'm not gonna TP because it won't save him anyway. He's dead no matter how I play this. I mean, my uh, flash was super late. I should just flash earlier. Yeah, that's on me. We should just be able to one-shot the Ari there if I flash properly. My flash was just so late. I could try to freeze the wave here. It's not actually that bad. Yeah, I mean, he is saying it. And he's not wrong. He's very right about this. I should just insta-flash it. Ari has TP. She's gonna TP back to lane. I don't quite have my item yet, so I will stay in lane for a bit longer. I will just wait for my uh, recall. I mean, Ari will get prio here, but it's fine. I should try to trade with her and just drop a bit of her HP. Mostly because I'm gonna reset anyway, right? Like, my plan is just to recall regardless. So I wanna try to take some of her HP here. Since I'm gonna come back to lane with full HP and full mana regardless, I wanna try to make it so that I have an advantage when I come back into the lane. Like an HP advantage. The problem is just, uh, kinda wanna kill all these minions, but... Mm, am I dead? Dodge the charm. 
Yeah, okay, there's a gin in my lane. I guess I will just recall. I will close outplayed now as well. Where is it? There you are, Overwolf. Get out of here. Just gonna buy potion and CP back to lane. Feels a little bit cleaner now. I think Ari flashed earlier as well, which is good. I think I, I have to stop her from crashing now. This is very important. I have to like fight her in the wave here. Make sure she doesn't crash. Try to keep her stuck in the lane as much as possible. Maybe I can get her ult. I will just insta shove this wave. Very high likelihood that someone is mid lane, but I have to just make sure that she stays in the lane. Twitch is probably gonna roam mid lane. I'm gonna go ward bot side and then just insta shove this wave. Don't know where Udyr is necessarily, but I'm pretty sure I'm safe here. Now I can actually use this HP advantage and leverage some push and uh, make sure that Ari can't roam and actually have some priority. So now we need to think about how can we use this push to get an advantage. And I think the answer is probably going to be just to roam bot lane. But this is not a cannon wave, so I actually kind of want to wait. And I'm pretty sure I'm safe from an Udyr gank here as well. I think I can just keep poking the Ari and just shoving in the wave. And eventually she will have to take a bad recall. <laughs> Please, man, can I just not miss every single minion? Please, man, please. Okay, she's gonna take a bad recall. I will actually just look for play. I think I will see him here, but I could be wrong. Oh, there's no way I'm getting this played. It's just what I'm quickly realizing here. Oh dear, it could be on Drake, or he could be sitting in one of these bushes. But it looks like we're making a play bot side, and I know the Udyr's bot side as well. So I kind of want to just hover there. I can take this plant and get full mana. Don't know where Ari is necessarily. Okay, she's back in the lane. She bought boots. Means I have a lot of fighting power against her. She's gonna have to roam. Basically. Twitch could roam here. So it's a little bit scary. I have to kind of wait. I can't really play as aggressively as I have been. Just mostly because Twitch can roam, right? Okay, that's a weird ward to go for. Oh my god, I've gotten into the habit of pinging the wards now, which is good. Twitch is bot lane, so I should be safe to shove out this way. We will just shove it out. I can actually recall here. This is a good reset time. I got a really fast push. Ari just kind of let me have the push. I can now recall and get my blasting wand. And we're in a pretty good spot in the lane. Almost have Rod of Ages. Just another 850 gold. When we get Rod of Ages, like Rise, usually you're just kind of playing for two items. Like when you get two items, that's when you're super strong. When I get Rod of Ages, I can probably look to take jungle camps as well and keep accelerating. Usually early game, you will just try to push and use that push into affecting the map. But the... Wait, she's not looking for a charm on Really? Really, man? I would always try to look for a charm there. Twitch could be roaming here, so we have to be a little bit careful. We also don't see Udyr. There's a very high likelihood that they're doing Herald, but just at the off chance that they're all running mid lane. Okay, well, we see Twitch top lane now, so I can just push. There's a world where Ari is also running up there, but I think it would be a bit crazy if she was. There's also a world where Ari just ran straight bot side, but I can't really predict any of them. I think I can get this played. Nope, I can't. Twitch is gonna be running straight mid lane. Maybe I could have autoed it once more. Oh, I got the plate anyway. Nice. Okay, well, we're playing for Rod of Ages on our reset. The problem is just we have no vision in river, so it's kind of hard. Yeah, and there we see. I don't think I killed this guy, but I can chunk him out. And that's kind of good enough. Means that he has a harder time roaming now. I mean, yeah, I would love to play the Drake guys, but they just open through mid, so it's hard for me to move, isn't it? Because no one... Legal Q I've ever thrown in my career, I think. Okay, well, we got a kill. Maybe I can just sit here. Make sure Ari can't roam. I could ult in. It's not bad play. Okay, well, they're just... They just got that. I will just take the ward. I mean, we can do Drake. Should be pretty free. I don't know. I kind of held the hate the idea of helping him here. Because I just want to push mid lane. I'm dropping resources mid lane helping him here. I think this Drake is not great, but... I think we could be a, mo a lot greedier than just going for the Drake, but sure. I will just go for the Drake and run mid. I'm dropping a full wave from that. I don't like that at all, actually. And I hate that idea. Oh, this guy is... Oh, I'm just dead. That sucks. That Twitch is just... He ran mid, died into run mid again. What a play that guy made. 
What a f oh my god, man. What a play, dude. Yeah, I think I will die mid. I will run mid lane. I will die. Then I will come straight back to mid lane. I actually have to stay for this wave as well. I will predict that Ari is just insta showing him. Twitch could still be around mid lane, so I can't walk up. There is no universe you're doing this, Herald. You are the dirtiest griefer I have ever seen in my life. What is this, Herald? Uh, with what priority, bro? With what priority? Like, what? What is that Herald play? Maybe I have to stay for one more wave, actually. I think I should have stayed for one more wave, because Ari can just run mid and shove this straight away. I think this sm sack is smoking crack. I think the Drake play was bad. Because obviously, when he goes Drake, that means enemy mid gets to push out, and now I have to come back mid lane and push out, and then Twitch is there, so I don't get prior, because Twitch is mid lane. And then he goes for Herald when he knows that there's a Twitch topside as well. Like, in the absolute best case scenario, assuming I can move. Assuming, um, Twitch is probably mid lane here, by the way, that's why I'm not walking up super aggressively. Assuming I can move there, Yumi is still bot lane, and Zaya is still bot lane as well. So in the absolute best case scenario, it's a 4v3. Enemy team has four players there. And we have three. I mean, we just have to, like, let Twitch do whatever he wants to, right? Like, bot lane is winning, so I don't really mind it that much. I just kind of have to seize control over mid lane. Or like, let's just let them get control over mid. There's not a lot I can do about that. I will take some jungle camps in the meantime, while enemy is pushing out mid lane. But it's really hard for me to just walk up right to the wave and try to contest it. Because, well, Twitch is more than likely there. In this situation, he wasn't there. He just ran straight top lane. But, like, I have to play as if he's there. Which means that my team has to open mid through, like, with me. Now, will they ever do that? Absolutely not. There is no universe where they open mid with me. Jin is probably top lane. Yeah. Do I care? Not really. I will just push out mid. I will just push out mid, maybe go for plate. Maybe snack on a little bit plate here. Jin is gonna run mid lane, Twitch is gonna be mid lane as well. I'll just grab this and then leave. Maybe I can go ward the bot side. Grab a little ward here. Twitch is gonna run straight back to mid lane. I don't think I die though, but maybe I do. Okay, Twitch is running bot lane, that's good. It means I can just push out my lane. Let's push it out. I can look for recall here because I have boots and base. I could run bot side here. I don't know if I really make it there in time with my ult. And I just recall and I'm happy. Recall and just run back to lane. Yeah, just recall and run straight back to the lane. I do hate that my FPS feels pretty low. Kind of sucks. But what can you do, I suppose? Just push this wave out. Twitch is bot side, Yon is bot side. I will walk up very aggressively here to the Jin. I'm predicting that Ari is not gonna be mid lane. I feel like it would be weird for her to be mid lane when there's an entire wave to catch top side. Yeah. Correct prediction. I think I can push this out pretty safely and then either look for jungle camp or look for roam. Looks like we're winning bot side. Oh, wait, we died. I should just run down here then. Maybe he will keep chasing the Yumi. Maybe I find him. Run this. Maybe I catch him. The W. Nice. Caught him. I will just grab the wave. Will Zaya run mid lane? No, she will not. Okay, I will walk mid lane then. Sure, I don't hate that. I will just run mid lane then. Look to catch the wave. Zaya took bot tower. I don't hate that. If Zaya runs mid lane there, I will be the one taking the bot tower. But it looks like she wanted it. I don't mind funneling gold on Zaya this game. She's kind of our only AD damage, so it's not a bad idea, I don't think. I want to push one more mid wave. The problem is just Twitch. Okay, well, he's top side, so we're going to get a free Drake here. I will walk up very aggressively for this then. And just take prio mid lane. No one can be here, so I know I'm safe. I mean, I could TP top, but is it really worth it? I feel like they're just giving up Drake for fun. Maybe I can even go take enemy jungle camps. Sounds pretty good to me. Yeah, I'll go snack on some raids. Oh, I probably should have recalled and ran top lane then. Uh, this guy needs help or what? 
this guy maybe needs help. I probably should have recalled and ran top to defend this tier 2. But looks like my bot lane has it all under control. I have to catch one wave mid lane. Gonna predict that Lilia is gonna run straight bot lane. So I'm gonna catch one wave mid lane. If she doesn't run bot lane, then after this wave I will just run... Oh, that sucks. Oh my god, this guy, crazy movement. Looks like we can take a fight here on this red buff. Enemy team is looking pretty overextended. I'll oh, CC immune. Love that from you. Does he live? No, he doesn't. Please don't steal it. Yeah, man. You need all the kills on Sack, I think. I think his ult was super unnecessary as well. Twitch is still alive. Ari is still alive. Do they kill me? I don't think so. I don't think they have the damage. Just look at how tanky I am. I'm gonna ward this. That's actually a pretty poor ward. I shouldn't ward like that. That's a pretty bad ward. Twitch could open on me, but I feel like I don't die if he does. Okay, Twitch is bottling anyway. So I will just keep pushing. Just keep pushing. Look for some harass on her here. I missed the cannon. I'm kind of sad about that. Wait, why did I auto her? What? Why did the auto go on her? I'm pissed. Why did my auto go on her? I didn't even click on her. I clicked on the minion. I mean, I could TP to save this guy maybe, but... <laughs> yeah, for some reason I didn't think Twitch would be mid. That's kind of my bad on that note. I, for some reason, didn't think Twitch would be mid, and I, for some reason, didn't think he would deal so much damage. He did half of my health bar. As AP Twitch support. But he is pretty strong, I guess. I suppose that is my bait. I think my Lilia is very dead here. Because Twitch will be in river. Wait, Twitch is not in river. Wait, she's gonna... She wins those. Just the better player, I think. I think I'm just... Do I even want to go death cap? The enemy team is going to stack magic resist. Maybe I should just go more tanky. It's not a bad idea. Twitch is rage splitting top lane for some reason. So I will just go grab this wave. My bot lane should be mid lane. Guys, please don't take molds when you need to defend the mid tower. Please, man. Please, 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 man. Please don't take it. Please. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah, I mean, this has nothing to do with me. I will just keep pushing top. This is none of my business going on here. Like, we should not be fighting mid lane here. There's kind of no reason to. We could fight for Herald. I don't hate that idea. I know there's three people on the bot side, so there can only be two people here. So I think I'm pretty safe. It can only be uh, Yon and Twitch, and I don't think I died to that, to be honest. Yon is probably running up here, though, but I don't think I died to him. Could look to go play Drake or... Uh, Herald, but I think it is just secure, so instead I will just... Oh no, I have to leave actually. Am I dead? Am I just be dead? Yeah. As soon as the blue trinket goes down here, I just have to leave. I can take the Gromp as long as he doesn't have vision on me. But as soon as blue trinket goes down and he can catch me, I'm just dead. I love how he dealt 800 or 1000 damage with Bork as well. That was really cool. That item is surely really balanced, I think. I'm glad it's getting buffed next patch as well. It's fucking sick. Yeah, guys. I think we need to buff Bork. The item is so weak, actually. Thank you, freak. I think we need to buff IE and Navori as well, actually. AD carries when not already strong enough. True. Facts. Thank you. Uh, we're just gonna be playing Drake. I think I can run top lane, push out two waves, and then just TP down if I need to. Problem is, we're gonna drop a mid tower here, just because we had bad recall timer on our bot lane again. I don't know. Our bot lane is not recalling very efficiently. Looks like Twitch is, uh... Two items, actually. My Roa is gonna tick soon. Would be nice if I could get it to tick at 16, but I doubt it. I wanna push one more wave, and then I can look to TP down to the Drake. Just because it's gonna mean that the enemy team is gonna lose a lot of... They're gonna lose a double stacked wave on the top side. So I will do this. Oh, wait, really? Do I have to ult out? Okay, I will ult out. I don't mind that. And just TP down. Not a bad idea. 
Oh my god, the macro decisions, the macro genius. Can we catch this guy? It's just a free kill, right? Can we catch this guy, maybe? Maybe there's free kills? Free kills to be had? Can I get uh, any any form of assistance? Sack! Sack! Sack, do something, man! Just do just anything, man! Just, bro, just... <laughs> man, just do something! Why do you walk out, man? You're so... Oh my god. Why did we all leave? We had such good position. Why did everyone just leave? Why did everyone leave? We had all of this area. We just control this area and take Drake. Why did we need to go through mid? We already had this. Like we... I don't understand. I feel like that should have been illegal for enemy team to even try to take this area back like if they all engage on me my team will just murder them but for some reason all of my team left <laughs> i don't know why that seems so free it's so silly that they left oh my god twitch is about to drop an absolute nuke man yeah i mean ah that guy is dead i cannot save him i'm sorry you are dead uh, maybe we can fight. Maybe we can fight it. Maybe we can fight it. Uh, looks like Messiah will do red buff instead. Okay, that's that's a bit of a bummer because I think we could fight it because I am very strong and I have flash up and Saya has Gale Force up as well. But yeah, I guess we will not fight it. Entire enemy team without Yon is also super squishy. So I would be able to flash one shot someone and then we could probably clean the rest. Twitch and uh, Udyr could be running behind me here. I don't really know. Oh, if they're doing Nash, then that sucks. They could be running behind me here, but I'm pretty sure I can at least kill Twitch. I will shove one more wave. Jin is probably not gonna be here. Would be weird if he was. I wanna take 16, so I get my rank 3 ult, because it's super good. Gives me a lot more damage, but I think I just push out bot lane here. I could recall here as well. I don't quite have my item though, so I would like to go for Gromp. There's no way I'm pressuring this down here, just because there's no way we can trade it for an actual objective. And the enemy team could just send people down here, and I, like my team will not be able to trade it for anything, right? Now, looks like they actually didn't send anyone bot lane outside of Ari. I mean, I don't hate looking for a play mid lane here, we just saw two people catch the wave. I think this is a fine, fine decision. That's an Ari TP. I should uh, give us some vision. Run in. I, mean, I don't hate the, the way this is played. Oh my god. My E ticked before my... <laughs> what? My W ticked before my E. I mean, we should just be able to do Nash here. They might try to turn on me here, but I'm pretty sure I'm just so tanky that I will murder them. Like, all of them. Yeah. Yeah, guys, Rise is balanced, I think. Yeah, he's so balanced. Yeah, my champs look, my champ looks balanced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just pick up a cheeky Drake or a cheeky Nash, and I recall, and I had 2K in the base or in the bank when I made that play. Yeah, Rise looks reasonable, I think. I think I can just afford to go tanky now. I will just build Frozen Heart. I have enough damage. I will go tanky. I will just go tanky now. I think Frozen Heart is good. They have... Well, actually, is it good? Not really. Frozen Heart's actually pretty fucking bad here. I'm looking at their team comp. This guy does AP damage. This guy does AP damage. This guy does AP. This guy does mixed. Mostly AD, but mixed. And this guy does no damage. So I should just go magic resist. Yeah, this, uh, this Frozen Heart decision was actually terrible. Uh, I seem to be... Super fucking stupid. Man, why am I so dumb, man? Oh, I need to stop being so dumb. Oh. Place a ward here. Maybe I can grab a blue buff. A little snack on a little bit of a blue buff. Sure, don't hate the idea. Okay, so we just have to wait here. We could open through mid lane, but looks like we're... Uh, Trying to trap something? I mean, I think we can just open through mid lane and we will just win. Oh, there's a Twitch here! Guys! Guys, there's a free kill! Oh, why you steal my kill, bruh? We can just go mid. We have Nash. We should just protect the wave. And that's it. Oh. I mean, 
swinging. Don't get for swings. Do not do it, man. Yeah, I mean, as long as we protect the wave here, we should just be able to grab an inhib. Maybe even end the game. No, I mean, we have to go here. Yon is gonna be over the wall. But, I mean, it's so illegal if we don't take the tower. Like, we can't really be scared of that. If Yon engages on us, we have to be able to outplay it. Oh, I hate the way Zaya just played that, but sure. I don't like her wasting Gale Force, even if it's like, quote-unquote, good. I mean, if we can land CC on any of them, they're pretty dead. Yeah, this guy is just dead. Yeah, Rice is balanced, I think, guys. Rice is so balanced. Okay, that is... Bro, he has CC in here, dude. <laughs> oh, later. Another free kill for me? Oh! Sucks. Now we just hold him. Ah, it looks like it's a free one. Nice. Bit of a weird game. Bit of a weird game. Ari got some advantages early. Didn't really matter. We just played 10 CS per minute, got the two items, and then we were we were Exodia. So, yeah. I think the only thing I'm a bit mad about is uh, the Wraith play that we just left me. Like uh, we should just kill them all. I don't know why why my team left me. Like Sack is absolutely smoking crack. But man, is Rise broken? Would highly recommend picking him up. Even if you're at the lower MMR bracket, even if you're a diamond player, I think Ryze will be strong. And you just have to learn like his basic combos and then you're fine. You just play 10 CS per minute, get two items and you're unkillable and deal 8 billion damage. It's so broken. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the commentary. Have a good one. See ya. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.